Hi, in this video, we shall be discussing on quadratic equation using the method of completing the square. The question goes, the height h meters of a stone from the ground after it has been thrown can be modelled by this equation of h equals to negative ax square plus x plus 2 over 5 where x is the horizontal distance travelled by the stone in meters and a is a constant. In part a of the questions, Given that the maximum height attained by this stone is 2.4 meters, find the value of A and the corresponding horizontal distance in meters traveled by the stone. And that is a 5 marks question. And in part B, you are to solve this equation of negative AX squared plus X plus 2 over 5 equals to 0 and explain the significance of this answer. And that is a 2 marks question. Now, you might want to pause this video to give this question a try and when you're ready, keep watching. Alright, now let us begin the question by looking at this equation here. The highest power of this equation is the x square and you are also given the maximum height of 2.4 meters. So putting together an x square equation as well as a maximum height that means to say, we will need to use the method of completing the square. So now let us revise on completing the square methods on the left side of the screen. So, by completing the square methods for a general quadratic equation of y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c, over here, the coefficient of x squared is an a. And b, x, refers to the coefficient of x is a b. c refers to the constant. In step 1 of completing the square, we are to make the coefficient of x squared within the bracket to be a 1. That will mean to factor out a for both ax squared and bx. So we factor out a, open the bracket, x squared, you have a 1x squared within the bracket because you take an ax squared divided by a. At the same time, you take a bx, you divide by a, you shall have a b over a times an x. Close the parentheses of brackets plus a c. So that is step 1. In step 2, you are to plus and minus the coefficient of x over 2 bracket squared. So the coefficient of x over here is a b over a. So the coefficient of x over 2 will therefore give us a b over 2a. And you are supposed to close the bracket power of 2. And you have to do a plus and minus like this. Introducing two green terms within this um, step 2 of completing the square. Now before we go on to step 3 of completing the square, let us start off our part a completing the square first. In this case of h equals to minus ax squared plus x plus 2 over 5. So in step 1 of our solution, we factor out the negative a. That means to say that we open our bracket and put the negative a on our side. Within the bracket, we now have an x squared. So negative a times x squared, if you do the reverse, it shall give us a negative ax squared. At the same time, our x must divide by a negative a. So x divided by negative a shall give us a negative 1 over a, close bracket, x. So this is our coefficient of x, which is negative 1 over a. In step 2, we are to take the coefficient of x over 2, power of 2, plus minus. So plus minus coefficient of x, which is negative 1 over a, over 2, will give us a negative 1 over 2a. The whole thing squared like this, introducing the two green terms within the completing the square method like this. On the outside, you leave out the 2 over 5. Moving on to step 3. Of this completing the square, moving on to step 3 over here. By completing the square, let's finish this off. That means to say we combine the first three terms within the parenthesis. So x squared plus b over ax plus b over 2a bracket squared can be rewritten into this form, whereby we have x plus b over 2a power of 2 like this. So that if we square the first term, we have an x square. If we square the last term, we have a b over 2a power of 2. And if we have a middle term of 2ab, in this case it will be 2 times x times b over 2a, it shall give us a b over ax like this. That means to say, the fourth term within our parentheses, we do not want it anymore. Now let's get rid of this by doing a partial expansion here. a multiplied by a negative b over 2a power of 2 shall give us a negative a multiplied by b over 2a power of 2 and originally we have a plus c 
that's just plus C. Combining these two terms, we therefore have this portion in pink. Let's finish up completing the square for our original equation like this on the right side. So, in this case, the first three terms of the parentheses combine it into a square, such that when you square the first term, you have an x square. When you square the last term, like this, negative 1 over 2a. When you square the last term, you have a negative 1 over 2a power of 2. And when you have a 2ab, that means you have a 2x, 2 times x times a negative 1 over 2a, shall give us a negative 1 over ax. So, that also means the fourth term within the parenthesis, we do not want it anymore. So let's get rid of this by multiplying to a negative a to this, giving us a positive a over 4a squared plus a 2 over 5. And this is the pink color portion that we have gotten rid of. So over here, what is the significance of this constant outside the bracket? Going back to the left side of this screen, the maximum or minimum can be found with this constant term that is outside the bracket. If your coefficient of x squared, which is an a here, is a positive, it will mean that it is a minimum. So minimum can be found from here. If your coefficient of x squared is a negative, so over here, this a is a negative, that means to say it is a set phase, all right? That means to say it is a maximum curve. So a maximum curve can be found from here as well. So the max or minimum happens when you have a constant term like this, when you set the term within the bracket to be equal to zero. So the term within the bracket will be x plus b over 2a, when you set it to be equal to zero, all right? And then in this case, you are able to get the maximum or minimum of your y. So in this question that we have, we are given that the maximum height is a 2.4 meters. So why is this a maximum? Because this is a negative a. All right, so the maximum height is a 2.4 meters. It's a maximum because this has been thrown upwards from the ground. So as you can see, the projector of this stone is being thrown upwards. So therefore, we are given a maximum height to be a 2.4 meters. So setting the pink color, 2.4 of a maximum to be here. So we have a a over 4a squared, which can be simplified into 1 over 4a plus 2 over 5, setting it to be the maximum of 2.4 and solving for a shall give us this answer of 1 over 8. And this happens when you set the term within the bracket to be equal to 0 like this. When you set the term within the bracket to be equal to 0, that will mean by setting x minus 1 over 2a to be equal to 0, re replacing your a to be a 1 over 8, you can solve for x. So x to be a 4 meters. Now let's see if we have, if we have answered this question. The value of a is a 1 over 8. The corresponding horizontal distance in meters, and that is a 4 meters. And that's the answer for the fire marks part A question. Moving on to part B, we are to solve this equation and setting it to be equal to zero and explain the significance of the answer. So if you look at the original equation given to us earlier, this is a h on the left and on the right we have this. In the this equation in part B, we are given this part here, which is the same as the right side of the original equation. That will mean that we are we need to set the h to be equal to zero. So what is the significance of setting h to be equal to zero? Let's not forget that h refers to the height of the stones from the ground. When h equals to zero, that means to say the stone either starts from the ground, throwing from the ground, or it reaches the ground. So setting h to be equal to zero, that means to say we are going to set this thing to be equal to zero. So by that, we have our part B first step, setting this whole thing to be equal to zero. Let's not, let's not forget that the pink color portion here refers to the 2.4 is given in the question, replacing the pink color to be a 2.4 and replacing the a to be a one over eight. We therefore have this part, a to be a one over eight, as well as the pink color portion here to be a negative 2.4 because I shifted it to the right side from a positive 2.4 to the right becomes a negative 2.4. Solving for x shall give us these equations in a third form. So what did I do? I take a negative 2.4 divided by a negative 1 over 8, square root the whole thing, and you do a plus 4 to this. All right, shifting a negative 4 to the right becomes a plus 4. This is in third form. Expressing it in a 3SF solution will therefore give us a negative 0.382 as well as a positive 8.38. 
let's not forget what is x. Your x refers to the horizontal distance traveled by the stone in meters. So distance cannot be a negative. As a result, we are to reject. All right. As a result, we are to reject the negative value, leaving us the horizontal distance of 8.38. And what is the significance of this answer of x to be 8.38? That means to say when a stone falls back to the ground, when it hits the ground, the stone would have traveled the horizontal distance of 8.38 meters. And that is the answer for this question. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video and see you in the next one.